Hey guys, this is James and welcome to a new episode of each and every effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. And today we're going to learn how you can use low pass filter in Adobe Premiere Pro. And this one is one of my favorite effect and I use this effect every single day. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I have prepared a sequence. You can see there is a audio clip and here are some video clip, right? So if I play it back. So this one is a clip from a movie so here is a scene that is outside of a night party club and there inside of that club and again here in the washroom of that club so what i want i want to mute the sound before entering to the club right so when you are outside of any room or any party club what do you hear you hear very muted sound the lower frequency are coming through the wall and windows right so we want to mimic that one and again when she enters to the party room i want to have the full sound here and again when he goes to the washroom i want to mute that sound too so how we can do that we can do that using an effect called low pass filter if i go to effects panel and there if i go to audio effects and then filter and eq and here we can see low pass filter that is the opposite of high pass filter do you remember when we learned high pass filter what we have did we have used high pass filter to pass through the higher frequency right and here when we are going to use the low pass filter we are going to allow the lower frequency to pass through and we'll cut off the higher frequency so that we cannot hear that sound right so if i just click and drag it here if i go to effects control panel if you don't see go to window and then enable effects control and there you can see low pass filter if i play it back the audio is sounding very muted already right so here you can control the sound using cutoff frequency if you set the frequency what premiere pro will do it will allow the frequency lower than the cutoff frequency to pass through and it will stop the frequency higher than the cutoff frequency so if i set the cutoff frequency maybe 500 it will allow the audio frequency below 500 hertz to pass through this gate and it will prevent the frequency greater than 500 hertz to pass through right so if i play it back so you will have a vibe the sound is coming from a room you cannot hear the full width of this sound right so what i want to do i want to cut here a section and again i want to cut a section here you can use the razor tool to cut the section here so we have three different section when she enters to the party house i want to have the full width of the sound right so i want to disable the low pass filter from here i can just click here on the low pass filter fx icon if, if i click here it will disable the effect right if i play it back you can hear of course the full width of the sound or what you can do you can just delete this section select the low pass filter and press delete on your keyboard it will delete the effect so if i play it back now perfect but the sound is happening very suddenly so i want to have a gradual transition for that reason what i can do i can just left click here and then select apply default transition if i click here it will apply the default transition and then if i play it back you will have a gradual transition right again i want to do that here too And if you want to decrease the volume of the muted sound, you can just click and drag this bar down just like that. Maybe this much. Again, you can down this this much. If you want to have more control, you can just press control or command and then click to add a point and then again click to add another point. Then you can just have a gradual fade audio, right? So if I play it back, it is fading in the audio. So, so that is one of the practical uses of low pass filter for my videos i usually use background music and when i use background music i mute the audio a little bit using the low pass filter so that it doesn't interfere with my voice over right so if i show you what does it mean if i go here on my video 
and then maybe i want to add a background music so i'm just selecting this part and this part of this audio and then clicking and dragging this one here right i want to extend the audio so i can just select the remix tool from here and then click and drag to make it a little bit longer so that is my audio if i play it back the volume is a lot right so if i decrease the volume of the music track maybe 11 dv then if i play it back get started in result today i'm going to show you still it is interfering with my voice right in that kind of scenario you can also use the low pass filter go to effects panel and then go to low pass filter and then apply the effect go to effects control panel and here you can set threshold maybe 600 or 700 usually i said 500 when i'm talking now if i play it back so you can very easily color grade your video in result using it so the music is there but it is not interfering with my voiceover because the frequency of that music under 500 hertz is not interfering with my voiceover so you need to make sure your music doesn't interfere with the voiceover and again when i end the video maybe here until then simply what i do i make a cut here and then i select this part and then i can delete this one left click and then apply default transition then i can just click and drag it to make it a little bit longer now if i play it back here is the ending and goodbye so it is just fading into the fuller sound of the music track right and goodbye so this is another uses of low pass filter and i hope you have learned how you can use low pass filter and if you like this video you can give me a thumbs up if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing in general then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one other then goodbye